So my next guests today are uh, from Kick. Uh, I have Miles Moreau, and from Vitesco, I have uh, Jose Savine. So uh, welcome, gentlemen. Nice to see you today. Thank uh, you, Trevor. Yeah. Thank you. So we're here today. I mean, it's quite unique. We've actually got a long-term customer of Kick sitting here, uh, Vitesco. You've you've been working with Kick organization for your uh, re, uh, reflow systems and, and yes. profilers for a number of years. Yes, we have been working with Keith for more than 17 years right, right now. Okay. This has been a long partnership with Keith. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think we have had very good results of that. Okay, excellent. So, um, you know, and one of the so one of the reasons that you work with Kick is because you like to get, you get a lot of strong data coming back off the, the systems to help with your your quality control. Exactly, exactly. As as I mentioned before, the the more data we have, the better decision we can make. Yeah. Um, especially in the ovens in the process, because it's a black box. Uh, sometimes we don't have um, enough information from it. For example, say, uh, we take the profile every every week or every month. What happened in the middle? We don't know. You don't know. So uh, a system like it can help us to determine if something changed inside of the oven or see everything was okay. Maybe we need to look for uh, other part in the process or in the materials. Yeah, yeah. So, Miles, what, what exactly is the setup that you've got in at Vitesco? Uh, and what are they using and, and how are they using it to monitor uh, uh, their processes? Well, they use quite a comprehensive set of our solutions mm -hmm. uh, from the profiling yeah. uh, aspect of uh, the software tools we have for helping develop the process and the mm -hmm. setting a recipe, and then using that baseline data to then monitor production, which is our uh, mm -hmm. RPI or reflow process inspection system. Mm -hmm. um, one thing with Vitesco is because they've been such a, a long time customer is they've actually helped give us feedback yep. to improve our system and add more capability. Um, Excellent. So th that's really where we get a lot of our innovation is from customers needs. Right. So they're a useful test site as well. Uh, so that's quite interesting because I mean, you're using, you're using this, uh, latest um, oven recipe system uh, for finding the best recipe uh, for your workflow for that day. Uh, how useful have you found that? Have you found that your setup times are quicker and easier? Uh, what benefits have you found using that system? Well, several additionally to the point that you mentioned that we can set up the process faster. I think one of the better things that Kik has helped on is when we had, for example, a customer reject. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to know, see, especially soldering topics or soldering issue, uh, and we want to know what was the uh, influence of the oven on this soldering topic. Yeah. We can go back and check the information from Kik, and we can compare even with other products, or maybe when the process was okay, see something changed. Mm -hmm. And this has been very useful to have good discussion with the customers or maybe with other maybe with the materials or, or suppliers, so we can uh, have a good uh, support for our claiming. Right. Uh, in many cases, when it is a soldering issue, they blame the, there is something happening in the profile. So when we have got information from Keith to say, um, nothing happened when we were running well, and now we had an issue, and in the oven is okay, that has been very useful right. to eliminate maybe the Reflow process at possible root So, is, are, are you monitoring their their systems as well remotely? Are you, or is this all all the the monitoring is done in in factory in house? Uh, in in factory, right? Uh, but they the the systems are not just uh, a standalone uh, inspection system down at the line. Yeah, um, it is comprehensively integrated into their factory system. So as the boards, you know, they have a very complex manufacturing process to, to maintain the process control and traceability required mm -hmm. uh, for the products they build. And so we are in real time messaging and integration with their MES system to make sure that uh, the process is validated okay. and the traceability is there as well. Right. So I, I understand the Tesco are using their own homegrown MES system, you actually developed it yourself. So did you have to write patches to, to sort of make that integrate with 
it, the kick software? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, Vitesco was one of the kind of early customers who mm. I wouldn't say demanded, but required that uh, the, the, data the data that Ho Jose was talking about to make good decisions, they need it in real time and they want the systems to act on that. Right. And then their factory system to tell the machine down at the machine. floor, that, yeah, this is this how a you problem. should be operating. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. So uh, yeah. that, that was a, a good project for us. That, that, that is a good point for Keith because commonly what we do for MES system is we ask the uh, oven suppliers to to create a software for MES. Mm -hmm. And that has been a little uh, hard to do it because we have several uh, oven suppliers, several types of ovens. Yeah. So it's very hard. Very hard. With Kik, uh, we think it will be easier to do that because we have only one system for all the ovens and only one MES for all the ovens. So we have uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think going forward, you know, one of your goals, I understand, is to sort of start going moving towards CFX, uh, and you're already using Hermes. Is that correct? Yes, yeah. we are working in to integrate Hermes and yeah. to write with Hermes and CF in, in yeah. our plants. Yeah, so that CFX will give you make it easier for uh, plugging in different different oven models and things like that uh, in, into yes. the system. Yeah, it will be. I think it will be also a good standard because. As I said before, we had different standards for different suppliers, mm. and now maybe we will have only one standard for all the yeah. process. No, yeah, makes right. makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yes, right. So, uh, you you, you uh, are you are you located relatively close to each other, and, and uh, or where is where is Vitesco headquartered uh, down here? Well, uh, my plan is located in Mexico, so we had. A, we are relatively close, mm. but Vitesco had plans uh, around the world. Around the so world, yeah. yeah. Uh, a few months ago, we were in Czech Republic talking about repro topics, and yes. he was invited. So we meet meet Great. each other in a lot Di of different, different places. Different yes. places. <laughs> Great. But uh, yeah, the uh, so you know we're based in San Diego. We mm -hmm. have an office here in Guadalajara. Yeah. Uh, that works out well. We also have uh, support mm -hmm. in Europe. Uh, and work with their site there closely as well. Good, good, excellent. Okay, so it's gonna, it's obviously a, a close relationship and an ongoing one, uh, where you keep developing it to to refine the process and uh, get the data collection uh, more, more better, but also make it more meaningful as well. Uh, so it comes into actionable uh, results. Uh, so yes. uh, yeah, so uh, congratulations. Um, well, what's coming next? Anything that you're working on at the moment that you can talk about? Uh, well, the uh, the one that you mentioned, we we do have a, a new profiling platform, mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, the new feature in that is uh, helping to create common recipes for multiple assemblies, okay. which will make the factories more efficient on changeover. Yeah, um, and then we've just started to come out with some new real time monitoring for additional mm -hmm. sensing capability. Okay, so. Uh, sensing the board temperature as it goes through the oven, uh, sensing vibration, mm -hmm. uh, fan speed. Uh, we do O2 right now. So mm -hmm. um, as the manufacturing gets more complex, high density boards, uh, more uh, reliability requirements, um, we've kind of future proofed our, our latest platform so we can add more sensing capability. Yeah. I think that's very important because, you know, a lot in other parts of the process in the assembly line, you know, it's everything they want everything in real time. Uh, so, you know, they want they don't want to be sort of asking how much scrap we made last week. They want yeah. to know now <laughs> before it becomes scrap. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, the quicker you can get that data, the quicker you can act on it. So uh, it's great. Yes. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you for coming in and telling us your story today. It's, it's really good to see how you guys work together. Uh, and uh, Jose, I wish you every success uh, in the future with your systems and uh, thank you for coming in. Thank, thank you. you. Okay.